Okay, so we come to, um, I guess, the official section called Decomposition of Forces, even though we've spoken quite a bit about them. Um, so let's use an example of, of decomp decomposing forces. And the example is a brick at rest on a, let's see, on a plank, on a wooden plank. Okay? So we consider three situations where... Uh, it is horizontal, and the plank and the brick is not moving. It's not accelerating vertically or horizontally. Then we increase the angle of incline, and the brick is still not moving. It's still at rest, and we keep increasing it, and we know if we keep increasing it, it will begin to accelerate down. Okay. So, in this case, because we know that at some point when we increase this angle it would begin to accelerate in this direction of incline what we can do is we can um, we can construct our x and y axes to be parallel and perpendicular to this incline okay so that's basically what we want to do I know this looks very confusing but let's just break it down it's very simple we know that at this point, um, ac the acceleration is zero, so it's not accelerating down the incline. Okay, So we know that if we break it up into its x and y components, we know that it's not, it's not accelerating along the y-axis. It's not moving up or down off, off of the plank, and it's not accelerating down the incline along the x-axis, okay? So we know that originally, uh, just try to ignore these, these dark red ones. Originally, right, let's just go back. Originally, this is what was happening. We had a gravitational force down. We had a, a kind of a, uh, a force of the plank on the ball up, and these were in balance, right? So the sum of the forces acting on the brick was equal to zero. It wasn't accelerating in any kind of way. All right? I hope that makes sense. So now if we take those two forces and we break them up into the x and y, right, we're going to get this. We're going to get a normal force, a force um, of the the plank acting on the brick right along the y direction and at the same time we need th that this force has to be broken up into its y and x directions this is the normal force of the plank on the brick and this is the tangential force or tangential component of the force on the brick so do you see how we've taken that original force there and we have decomposed it into its y component and its x component. And this little x component is the tangential component which is actually stopping the brick from sliding down. Now what about this force over here? This force is the gravitational force that acts straight down and we can also decompose it into its y component and its x component. So there we decompose it into its y component. Okay? And you can see that it's also perpendicular to the inclined surface. It's perpendicular. And we decompose it into its x component. Okay? So now what's interesting is that both in the y direction and the x direction there is no acceleration. What does that mean? It means that this component is equal and opposite to that component. It means that this uh, friction force actually, although they haven't mentioned that it's friction yet, this component is stopping this component of gravity. right? Because this component of gravity wants to accelerate the brick down, but the friction force, the tangential <coughs> contact force is resisting that one. So that's why we have zero acceleration in the X and zero acceleration in the Y. Now, if we increase this incline 
and there is still no acceleration, then we again we take those two original forces and we decompose them into their new x and y axes. Okay? The x and y axes have now rotated. Can you see they were pointing there and there? Now they're pointing there and there. The x is always pointing along the incline and the y is always perpendicular to the incline. Now what do you notice here is that by changing the axes, by lifting this up, um, this, this uh, gravitational force, the, the x component has increased along the x-axis. What does that mean? It means that there's more of a component to want to accelerate this brick down. This, this x component has increased. And so if this x component increases, but it's still in zero acceleration, then this, um, this uh, force of the plank on the, on the brick, the x component, that his x component also has to increase, or her, whatever you want to call it. Because this still has to be in balance. Okay? And in the same way, it's also not accelerating in the y direction. So you break it up into this y component, you break that up into its y component, and these again are equal and opposite. So there's no acceleration in the, in the y direction. However, if you go past a certain angle, this brick begins to slide. It begins to accelerate. So now what happens? What happens now is that there's still no acceleration in the vertical direction, but there is now an acceleration along the x direction, which means that this component, okay, the, the component of this force is larger than the component of this force. So there'll be a net, um, there'll be a net force acting along the x direction which causes the brick to slide, to accelerate. Okay, so please practice these and um, make sure you understand what's happening.